guys. So today is our first project in our embedded course. Actually today we're going to learn how to implement this with a ultrasound sensor. Okay? Actually this guy here will emit uh, an ultrasound pulse and we're going to measure how, how long the pulse, the pulse went to an object and it bounced back. So with this you are, you are going to be able to measure distances. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, give it a thumbs up. Okay guys, how to measure distance with ultrasound, okay? The model that I presented to you guys before work in the following manner. We give him a, a, a pulse for our microcontroller, okay? And what he's going to do is he's going to create a burst of, uh, of ultrasound, okay? That is going to travel, okay? And eventually bounce back in an object and come back. And uh, everything that we're going to do is actually measure this time here that the pulse went to something and came back, okay? With this information in mind, that let's call it T-flight, and consider that the speed of sound is 343.2 meters per square in the air, okay? We're going just to bring these values in a, in, in a, actually in a Newton motion of law function, okay? Where space is just speed multiplied by time, Okay, and we're just going to multiply 343.2 multiplied by t flight over 2. The only thing that maybe we need to change is that this t flight here, uh, when we calculate for the microcontroller, is in microseconds. Okay, then we just need to bring this from microseconds to seconds. Okay, so guys, in this lab, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to connect the nuclear board, okay, through the pin. PB8, okay, directly to the pin C of the ultrasonic sensor, okay? We're going to see three new classes, okay? Digital in out, timer, and serial, okay? The digital in out is the class that is going to control this pin here, okay? Because part, part of the time we're going to do, we're going to be output, and the other part we're going to be input. The timer is the class that we're going to use to measure the, 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 the time of the width of the response of the ultrasonic sensor. And the serial is the, is the class that is going to handle the UART communication between the computer and the nuclear board. Okay? Uh, just to remember, the nuclear board has a serial connection through USB. Okay? So you can, uh, you can extract data from your nuclear board through this, uh, this port. Okay? So guys, let me just explain a little bit how this sensor works, okay? It has three pins, okay? One pin is for the ground, another one is for 5 volts, and the pin that you are interested in is this pin here, SIG, okay? Uh, how this model will work? Actually, we need to create a pulse, okay? A digital pulse of more or less 10 microseconds, okay? So, after we send this pulse of 10 microseconds, the internal circuit of this sensor will create an ultrasonic burst of 40 kilohertz, okay? And uh, he's going to create another pulse, okay, in response to this, that the width of this pulse is exactly related to the time of flight, okay? So, again, we, we instead of using here an Arduino board, we're going to use our uh, our embed SM32F4 board, okay? That we're going to use one single pin that is going to be part of time output and part of time input. And what we're going to do, we create this pulse of 10 microseconds, then we switch our pin to input and we wait for the uh, for this pulse to arrive, okay? If I show here in the logic analyzer what happens, okay? If I put here start, so this is my pulse, okay? This is given by the by the microcontroller, okay? You guys can see that is exactly 10 microseconds. And after a time, to be more specific, something like uh, 0.45 milliseconds, you have another pulse, okay? And the width of this pulse here, in this case 6.47 milliseconds, is actually our distance, okay? If I point this sensor, for instance, let me, okay, let me put my hand closer, you see? 
if I put my hand closer and closer, I actually change this uh, the width of this pulse. Okay, if I take out my hand, you see, it's actually going up to my uh, to my door. Okay, if I point it out for my slim, it's like really big. Okay, there is a limit as well. If I put this like really really big, uh, let me check if I can find. It. No, actually, my ceiling is less than four meters. But this pulse can never uh, can never go down. Actually, he can, but it's actually not a good reading anymore. Okay, uh, the sensor said that a good reading go up to four meters. Okay, so guys, uh, wh what we're going to do? We're going to create a code that is going to create this pulse, and then wait and measure the time of this. How we measure the time of this? We wait when we have a rising edge, then we start a timer and we count how many microseconds pass on this. Then when the when you have a falling edge, falling edge just means the signal go from high, poof, to low. Okay? When this happens, we stop the timer and calculate. As we know the speed of sound and the, the and this time here in microseconds, we just multiply them and we have our distance. Okay? So guys, let's analyze uh, the code that we do to control our ultrasonic sensor, okay? So, uh, here we just start by declaring uh, the speed of sound, okay, in the air. This constant, constant is going to be used by us. The second, we just configure and create an object of the type serial, okay? This, by the way, is going to implement the, the, the serial through the USB, okay? You just use serial TX and serial RX, okay? This is going to configure a digital in-out uh, pin, okay? So, uh, part of the time, we're going to output something on this pin, like 1 or 0. And another part of time, we're going to read something from this pin, okay? And the timer, okay? So, <coughs> the most important function is get flight time, okay? The first thing that we do, we create this 10 microseconds pulse. This is the minimum, uh, the minimum pulse needed for, the, um, for our sensor to create an uh, ultrasonic burst of 40 kilohertz or something. Then we switch the pin to input, okay, and we wait for the first rising edge of this uh, on this pin, okay. So it's just a while loop that if the pin goes to one, it breaks, okay. It has also a, a kind of implementation of a timeout here. It's uh, incremental time. Just if the if the pin never uh, if you never detect the rising edge, we're not going to be blocked here. Okay? Then, when the, the first rising edge of the signal start, we're going to start the timer, okay? And wait for the falling edge. Okay? So, basically here is again a while loop that is going to stop when the, the pin goes to zero. Okay? And when this happens, we stop our timer, we read uh, read the elapsed time in microseconds then we reset our timer and return this time okay so uh, after this the only thing that we need to calculate now, uh, now that we have the flight time, is to calculate the distance, okay? We consider that the pulse will not accelerate, so he start already at 340 uh, meters per second, okay? So, what we're going to do, we simply use our uh, physics formula S equals VT, okay? In our case, what we need to do first is just to divide, is to first to convert the convert flight time to seconds okay then we divide by two because we just want we just want uh, one leg I mean we don't want to know the time that the pulse go there and uh, and come back one leg 
okay then we just calculate the distance by being the speed multiply by the time okay and we return this so in our main function we just configure our com port okay we output some message and then in a while loop of uh, 100 milliseconds we just get the flight time we calculate uh, so uh, just one point I don't know if you guys remember if we have a kind of timeout here that if this while loop uh, goes like forever the pin never uh, come to one or come to zero we return minus one so the only thing that we do here is that if it's not minus one we calculate this distance okay so we just compile the program by the way uh, while he's compiled the program let's just take a look here and check which are the com port that is detected uh, by our ST link in our case is the com 15 okay so you can use hyper terminal or any, any other program like this but now in, in my case is beauty is a uh, open software pro okay so we're going to configure serial port con 15 this speed is the speed that we configure in our software then we copy this file to our nuclear board okay and uh, if we just use a kind of uh, serial port console we have here time of flight in this case I'm using uh, Putin okay and uh, here time of flight is this in microseconds the distance is 48 centimeters for instance if I put my hand and come closer and closer you see the distance is getting shorter and shorter okay up to a limit as well that I mean if I'm super close yeah one centimeter okay uh, the sensor expects say, says that is good up to four meters but you know the this pulse is not actually like a laser you know you have a kind of spread so actually you get a good precision up to three meters or 2.8 meters or something like that okay by the way this is what we're going to use in our quadcopter project to calculate the the distance the height of our quadcopter okay so hope you guys like it and uh, uh see you guys in the next video okay ciao ciao